With significant financial backing, one of China's buzziest humanoid robotics firms is drawing inspiration from a cinematic icon for its next generation machine. His number is called T-800 internally, because the T-800 is the Terminator, a classic model in this movie. Engine AI rocked the robotics world when it emerged from seemingly out of nowhere in fall 2024 with its full-size robotic humanoid and its freakishly human-like walking gait. It immediately set a new benchmark for lifelike bipedal locomotion. Zhao Tongyang, who previously founded the Shenzhen startup Dogotics, launched Engine in 2023 after leaving Xpeng, where he led the EV Maker's humanoid robotics program. At a recent conference in Beijing, he said that nailing the robot's walking gait was the first non-negotiable milestone before emerging from stealth. Engine followed its flagship robot, the SE-1, with a shorter, lower-end model called the PM-1. Its pricing, starting around $14,000, was notable for undercutting Unitree's then record low pricing for its short G1 humanoid. The robotics firm has since gained exposure far outside the usual tech echo chambers thanks to its viral videos like this homage to the 2004 cult classic Kung Fu Hustle and its dance collaboration with the popular streamer I Show Speed. All right, guys, this is the most advanced robot in China. Let's go. You just did a flip. Now, Engine is moving toward mass production with significant financial backing. According to reports, Engine secured nearly 1 billion yuan, or around $139 million, in total funding across two recent rounds. The financing was led by the Xpeng affiliated Rockets Capital and JD.com, which is one of China's largest retailers. The reports say Engine is aiming for a billion dollar valuation. It's just a fraction of the money pouring into Shenzhen's robotic scene as the Chinese tech hub establishes itself as a leader in humanoids. If Engine hits unicorn status, it would join the ranks of fellow Shenzhen firms UB Tech Robotics and Dobot, both of which say they've started mass producing their industrial humanoid. UB Tech just introduced its new Walker S2 robot that the company says is the first humanoid capable of changing its own battery, equipping it for around the clock service. And Dobot, which rose from a Kickstarter campaign to an industrial automation giant, has shipped its first Atom humanoids, which start at $27,000. Shenzhen, often called the Chinese Silicon Valley, is also home to Hudu Robotics, which has already shipped more than 100,000 service robots as it commercializes its bipedal and wheeled humanoids, Limex Dynamics, which just unveiled the third iteration of its flagship humanoid, Lumos Robotics, which secured nearly $30 million in funding earlier in 2025 and whose second-generation humanoid can get up in under a second, and Astrobot, whose humanoids recently took over the JD Shenzhen Mall. In a new interview with Shenzhen Cable Television, Tang Yang said his team is taking things to another level with its next-generation synthetic human prototype. The robot is codenamed the T-800 as a nod to the iconic robot from The Terminator. In the 1984 film that started it all, the series 800 Terminator is an AI-powered humanoid robot with living tissue covering its hyper-alloy combat chassis. Built by Skynet, the Terminator boasts superior strength and durability compared to real humans. It's skilled in human mimicry and basic social interactions. After failing to unalive Sarah Connor in the 1984 movie, the T-800 bot is reprogrammed to protect her son, John Connor, in the 1991 follow-up. The robot, portrayed by Arnold Schwarzenegger, returns again as a protector in 2003's Terminator 3 Rise of the Machines and with emotional growth in the 2019 entry, Dark Fate. According to Engine AI, its next-generation robotic humanoid will possess strength comparable to people. Some aspects of fighting ability, at least a basic level of human. 
Engine's clearly Iron Man-inspired robot will presumably participate in the robot boxing tournament the company is planning for late 2025. Engine says it's moving past typical humanoid benchmarks to better align its machines with people rather than other machines. We want to make robots with souls. If this piece is missing, then all the movements and algorithms are ultimately hollow. Do we need another cold tool? Actually, we don't. We want to use people as the standard. We don't look at a lot of data. We will refer to ourselves. The startup plans to showcase the prototype at the 2025 World Robot Conference in Beijing in August. They'll also showcase their new quadrupedal robot that can carry loads up to 40 kilos and has a range up to 60 kilometers. The payload capacity is significantly higher than other robotic dogs in its class, including Spot by Boston Dynamics. It's positioned for applications in logistics and last mile delivery. The startup is also developing a third generation service oriented humanoid robot that resembles Ed 209 from the Robocop series, another major influence on Engine. Another Shenzhen company, the EV maker Xpeng, has started putting its AI powered humanoids that look straight out of Westworld to work on its showroom floors. Xpeng is positioning the humanoid as a top competitor to Tesla's Optimus which has been spotted at the automaker's new Hollywood retro-futuristic diner. For more on those robots and others to watch out for in 2025, check the related video.